One up box, one up box, it is time to unbox the one up box, one up box, yeah! What's going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwing Iron, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on back to yet another unboxing of the One Up Box. Now, if you don't know what the One Up Box is, it is essentially a monthly subscription service a la the likes of like Loot Crate and those types of services where once a month you get a random box of goodies. Uh, obviously, they usually have a theme for that month. So like we've had ones before for like Star Wars and such. And for that theme, they essentially kind of collect a, a bunch of goodies. Like usually, well, not usually, you always get get a t-shirt and then another variety of items. I think usually it's six items a month from what I remember. So that's kind of the uh, idea of the one-up box. We've already done a whole bunch of unboxings for them. So you can go ahead and go check out some of those. They've been really, really cool. And some of the t-shirts are just awesome. Very, very, very cool stuff uh, that has been included in the past. I'm really excited about this month's one-up box, especially because a buddy of mine has kind of spoiled to me that apparently there's something Deadpool related in here. And if you know me, you know that Deadpool is like one of my favorite, favorite characters. So that has me really excited because I'm hoping that whatever Deadpool item related is in here, maybe it's even the t-shirt is going to be cool. Nonetheless, if you guys want to uh, sub uh, subscribe or you're considering subscribing to one of box, uh, maybe after you see what's inside here, there's a link right in the description box below. It's an affiliate link that you could go ahead and utilize if you like to do so. So with that in mind, let's get rock and rolling. I've already pre-cut the tape, so let's see what we have in here. Oh, <gasps> yes. All right. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. So yes, we got a Dorbs uh, Deadpool. We always start with the t-shirt. So let's see what the t-shirt it is uh, oh it's a League of Legends shirt how awesome is that that is really cool all right I've actually been playing a bunch of leagues so that's awesome we have Ash in the middle there as a pug so this is pugs of legends <laughs> which is fantastic you have uh, Blitzcrank uh, square in the center Ash uh, then this is Teemo I'm guessing uh, I think that this is supposed to be Rise right here on the on this side. And then I have no clue who this is. Who's this with the giant sword? Is that Riven? No. Or is this Garn? No, it can't be Garn. Garn doesn't wear like a hood like that. Hmm. I'm not sure who this is. So whoever that is, if you guys know when you play League of Legends, let me know who that character is. But that is awesome. Very cool. So if you love Pugs and you love League of Legends, there's a pretty fantastic shirt. So let's see what else we have. Well, we got to do this next because Deadpool. So this is a Dorbs. Uh, Oh, okay. You don't even need to cut it. I guess there was a pre-taped. Alrighty. This is uh, kind of like um, Funko Pops. Is it even made by the company that makes Funkos? I think it might. Oh, no, it's not. It's Vinyl Sugar that makes these. But it's a little bit similar to Funko Pops. This is kind of what they look like. You know, there's like different designs and such. So I think previously we've already gotten like a little miniaturized Dorbs of uh, Captain America from what I recall. But this time we have the full scale Dorbs and this is awesome. It is Deadpool. Couldn't get any better than that. I love Deadpool. So this is fantastic. He's got the little smirk and the wink. Oh, and the head does move around. So you do have a little bit of rotation there. Great print work on the back. The swords and everything is very, very clean. So you don't see like, you know, paint leaking all over the place, which is something that is sometimes common, especially with like these mass produced like minifigure type things. They oftentimes have very, very bad quality control. It doesn't seem to be the case here. So that's fantastic. Super duper happy about that. And I love the little wink on the belt as well. Cool. Awesome. Deadpool. Whenever I can get something else Deadpool, I always love that. All right. What else do we have this month? We have a zero to hero coffee. Is this supposed to be like the little thing you put around your coffee? I've never had one of these, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it, oh, maybe it's for like bottles as well. I'm not sure. So it's essentially um, like one of those things like drink holders, you know, like you put like a, either, well, I don't know, a cup wouldn't really fit in here. I think this is supposed to be for like drinks, like bottles, like soda bottles or beer, I guess, or something like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've never used one of these type things, but uh, they obviously are going for like a Starbucks type design. So very cool. And uh, definitely looks kind of neat. So there we are. That is pretty awesome awesome. So let's go ahead and put that back in here because uh, I am not going to use that right now. So no point. All right. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Super Mario dog tags. That'll be fun. 
Uh, there's our pin for January of 2016, which is legend. That is the theme for this month. What a box. As you can see, there's Mew in his uh, po in her po well, Mew is a she, right? I'm think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, in her Pokeball, I hope. I'm not sure actually. I don't remember from the series. So we have these little dog tags here. Let's see which ones can we get. Oh, so that is kind of cool. So you can get either even like modern characters or classic, like 8-bit Mario and stuff. So that'd be cool. All right, let's see what we get here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully cut through that. And oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, you get cards as well. All right, so we got the Waddle Wing. This is a shiny card, so that's kind of cool. Oh, it actually says something about them. Keep a sharp eye on these chubby little trouble makers. The Waddle Wings are notorious for throwing their prey off course and then attacking. Waddle Wings glide through the air until they hit a wall and abruptly change direction. Defeat this enemy with a variety of power ups or a good old fashioned stomp. Sounds cool. All right, so this is from New Super Mario Brothers U. So that's the design that we have there. We have the uh, Super Mario Dog Tags checklist. Whoa, holy smoke, there's a lot of stuff you can get. So there's dog tags, then there is deluxe dog tags, and then there's trading cards right here. So there's a lot of stuff. And then there's also decal stickers. So this is the uh, bombs away of uh, Bob Omb or Bob Omb. You know what I mean, his name is, you know it. All right, so what is the dog tag that we got? Ooh, Donkey Kong, awesome. That is great. That is actually super duper cool. Look at that, and it's the classic one too. Fantastic, is that a deluxe one or no? Uh, Donkey Kong and Barrel. No, I don't think it is a deluxe one. Uh, 2D Donkey Kong. I think it might be... Is this the 2D? It should be the 2D one, right? It says number 2 down here. I don't know if that's Pixel Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, so that's probably the one we got, is Pixel Donkey Kong. Cool! Awesome! So these are kind of cool, actually. So if you wear like a chain or a necklace, I guess more importantly, to go ahead and uh, wear these and maybe if you get like a whole bunch and you don't want to wear them what you could do is probably just like uh, use like if you have a corkscrew board or something you could use like a little like pin you know one of those like type of pins and then hang them and they would look really cool like just on display so that's pretty neat very uh different didn't really expect dog tags but cool all right let's see what else we have Ooh, it's a link patch sitting on the game of thrones or game of or throne of swords i guess or something looks cool very neat so this is one of those like um what are they called? Um, iron-ons, you know, where you use an iron. I'm pretty sure like you put it, I don't, I've never actually done it, but I'm pretty sure like you put it on and then you use an iron and then the iron like heats up the glue on this and that makes it stick to uh, whatever it is you're trying to patch it to, like a shirt or a backpack or something. So that's a pretty cool little thing. They've done a couple different patches already. So that's awesome that they actually continue to do uh, and throw some different ones uh, throughout. All right, let's see. What else do we have down here? There's a couple of postcards. Oh. Okay, we got two legend cards. We're two legendary, that's why. Uh, whoever holds this hammer, if uh, if they be worthy, shall possess my love. Oh, okay, that's cool. Little happy Valentine's card, that's awesome. <laughs> and Thor dressed up in like a tuxedo and everything, that's awesome. And then we got two of these for some reason. I'm actually not too sure why. I guess typically they would include one, but for some reason we got two of them, so there you go. That looks cool though. I do like the design of here uh, on the front here. You got the little plug sticking out and Deadpool always looks awesome. On the back, we have a nice little summary of what is actually included in this month's legendary one up box. And that includes the Deadpool Dorbs, which is the legendary Merc with a mouth. Now comes in a door in an adorable package. Be careful. He's still a little dangerous. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, not really. I shouldn't do that. He's going to get pissed off. So uh, we also have Super Mario dog tags are looking very, very cool. And actually it looks interesting because there's different types that you could have gotten. So we got the Bowser one, but you could have got the Yoshi or the Mario one as well. So I wonder if that matters or if that's just packaging. So I'm not too sure about that because I never actually got these before. Then we have the Zero to Hero can cooler. Okay, so that is for cans. I guess now we've clarified what that's actually for. Uh, it says, keep your drink insulated with this can cooler featuring your favorite Greek legend. Cool. Uh, we then have the Game of Legend patch. Very cool. Uh, the Valentine's Day cart. And then of course, the thing that I love the most, well, Deadpool is up there for sure. It's Deadpool and then probably the shirt. 
Pugs of Legend t-shirt, looking very, very cool indeed. Now, they also do this epic giveaway um, type thing every single month where essentially you need to take a selfie wearing your new shirt, post it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag of 1UpBox, and then you have a chance to win The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker Nendroid. Ooh, that's cool. And the winner will be announced February 8th through Instagram and Twitter. Sounds cool. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and enter into that as well. So with that in mind, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this month's 1UP Box on boxing well technically it's last month because it's already february but nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to drop a like and i'll catch you guys next month peace out see you laters alligators bye bye everyone deadpool's awesome